Hello everyone! We are students Art of Education USM. This is our project of PGT 436 Information, Communications and Technology. We have four group members, which is Arif, Rosti, Kaidu, and Sukling. So, our topic is Instructional Design Principle. Albert Einstein said it is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. In our topic, we have three contents to present. The firstly, instructional design. Second, learning product. Third, history. Four instructional design principle, net five principle, and lastly type of instructional design. So now let us see what is instructional design. Instructional design is a process of learning products and experiences are designed, developed, and delivered. Learning products have online courses, instructional manuals video tutorials, learning simulations. It is also a systematic development of instructional specifications using learning and instructional theory to ensure the quality of instruction. It is entire process of analysis of learning needs, goals, and the delivery system to meet those needs. It is also a systematic process employed to develop educations and training programs in a consistent and reliable fashion according to Razor. Okay, now let us back to the main content. The second one is the learning product. So, what is the learning products used? First, quiz and games. Second, online learning, and the YouTube video. So, let us go back to the main content. Okay, the third one is about the history of instructional design. Origin of instructional design is began during World War II, when large number of Psychologists and educationists were summer. Next, on the middle, 1950 until 1960, the program and instruction movement was developed. Next, early 1960, the criterion reprint testing movement are created from the Robert Glazer. After five years, in 1965, Robert Gettner developed the condition of learning, which is nine events of instructional. And 1917, a rise of interest in the system approach. The next 1980s, the birth of e-learning. And 1960s, a rising interest in constructivism and the importance of performance. The next 2000, the people are using the online learning and the last 2010 and beyond learning technologies in all its forms such as social, mobile and personalized. Social mobile analytics and cloud technologies are at the heart of this era of learning. Okay, 
Now, let us back to the main content. Okay, the fourth topic is about the instructional design principle. What is the instructional design principle? Instructional design is based on three psychological principles of learning. Firstly, behavioral, second, cognitive, and constructivist. Okay, now let us see what is the psychological principle of behavioral, cognitive, and constructivism. First, behavioral. The second one, cognitive, and the third one, constructivism. So, in order to create a solid foundation for delivering these principles, learning material should, supported by interactivity between learner and program and the, mot and the motivations of learner. So now let us go back to our main content. Okay, the fifth content is about the five principles. Okay, there are five principles introduced by Merrills. The first one. Students learn best when actively engaged. The second, students learn best when existing knowledge is activated prior to introducing new information. The students also learn best when knowledge is demonstrated for them. Okay. The students also learn best when they are able to apply new knowledge in active learning tasks. Finally, the student learns best when new knowledge is integrated into the student's world. Okay, now uh, we have to see the types of professional design. Okay, we have five modern professional design. First, gather nice instructional events. Second, then apply model. Third, virtual scans goal based learning. Next, the inquiry model. And last, hybrid ID model. To know more about the models of instructional design, you can just press the words. For example, gather nine instructional events. Okay, there, inside there, they have the pros and also cons of the models. So now, let us watch some um, videos regarding this instructional design principles. An instructional design series, episode 5, Learning Outcomes. A learning outcome defines what students... Welcome to the instructional design series, episode 3. This episode will focus on the different new manager and is objective-driven. After learning and watching the video about instructional design principle, so now let us have some quiz and games about instructional design principle. The first one. What is the instructional design? What is the answer? Yes, you are correct. So we continue. In 1965, Robert Gatney created a nine step process cards to the events instructional, which is 
correlate to the address he conditioned learning. True or false? That's right. Okay. okay, the next question. Congratulations is correct. Next, what is the theory of behavioral? Well, it's incorrect. It's wrong. So, this is your score and the passing score. You did pass the best. So, just now is the example of a quiz. Okay, so now let us have some games. Our game is called Kahoot. This is our Kahoot game. Okay, to play this game, you have to access the internet to join this game. To play this game, you can choose either classics or team modes. After you click inside, the code will be given to the players. Okay, to join this game, you have to key in game key numbers. Okay, so another game is match game. So let us see what is what is the match game about? Okay, first you have to click the button start. Then you can start to answer the question. You just click one. For example, behavioral. It is about the psychological principle. And then you have to categorize it in the same group. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching guys. If you like our video, don't forget to like and subscribe our video.